it was projected results goes from R plus 9.5 to R plus 14 on the dots, putting it firmly in safe Republican territory. Down in the southeast we go now, starting in Georgia, where Trump leads Biden by 3.8%, based on 26 polls. The bright spot here for Biden is that this is Trump's narrowest polling advantage in Georgia since last October, and down from as high as 7.4% in early March. The latest poll from the Wall Street Journal released this past week has Trump's lead at just one point. That is significant because polling in Georgia has actually been pretty decent over the last decade, overestimating Mitt Romney in 2012 by 2.2%, and then underestimating Trump by half a percent and 1% in 2016 and 2020, respectively. That means that the average error comes out to just 0.12% bias in favor of Democrats. So the average hardly moves from 3.8% in favor of Trump to 3.9%. Either way, Georgia goes down as leaning towards Republicans on this electoral map. And with it, Donald Trump has now eclipsed 270 electoral votes all the way up to 271, enough to secure him the presidency in this scenario with three states remaining. Directly south of Georgia is the electoral vote behemoth of Florida. 30 electoral votes are at stake in the Sunshine State, where the polling average